My name is Joshua, and this is my story. My story starts all the way back to when I was five years old. At five years old, my parents split up. And being really young, you don't really understand what's going on. I just kind of knew that my parents were going to be living separately, and I'd be living with my mom. After my parents split up, my mom decided that it was time for us to start going to church, because she felt like God was really what we needed in our lives. And as a kid, I didn't really pay attention in church. All I knew was that I would go to worship, go to children's church, and then we'd go out to eat. And that was all I really looked forward to. Now, as I got older, I didn't really have a relationship with my father. Our relationship actually started drifting further and further apart. There would be times where we'd go months without seeing or speaking to each other, and there'd be times where we'd go years without seeing or speaking to each other. It kind of just became a normal thing for us. The closest thing I had to a father figure in my life was my grandpa. And he was a great father figure, it's just he was kind of an alcoholic. It wasn't until I was 12 years old that my mom finally found the man that would step in and be my stepfather. My stepfather's always been great for my mom. It's just when they first got married, he was really young and he hadn't had any kids. So it was kind of a new experience for him with me. And he wasn't really a father figure as much as he was a friend. It wasn't until high school that I realized the impact that growing up without a father had on me. I started seeing all the people around me that had fathers and I realized that I really wanted that. That realization really hurt me and caused me to drift away from God because I just couldn't understand why I didn't have my real father around me and why I was put in this situation. Once my senior year rolled around, things really kind of started to turn around between my dad and I. We talked a lot more and I would go see my half-brothers who lived with him from time to time. The big point came when I was working towards buying a new car. I remember I had everything figured out and I hit up my dad to see if he'd be willing to help. I remember the conversation turned into him just bashing my mom and calling her some really mean names. And I remembered interrupting him and explaining that I didn't need his help and I would just do it on my own. After saying that, I hung up on him because I remember I just couldn't stand hearing him bash the woman who had basically raised me with almost no help from him other than the child support he had given. Shortly after I hung up on him, I received a text from him saying some horrible things that I'll never forget. And shortly after, I also texted him back some mean stuff. Now, that was actually the last conversation that I've ever had with my dad. It was at this point that it really hit me. I was hurt, angry, and upset. I just couldn't understand why God would let this happen to me. It was then that God really started working on me. I realized that even though I didn't have my biological father to be there for me, God was there. He was always there watching over me and helping me. I realize now that even though I didn't have my real dad there, I always had my church family and my real family there to support me. My dad wasn't there to go to my soccer games, he wasn't at my graduation, and he didn't go to my wedding. And that hurt. But I have family, friends, and God who've been there through it all. Once I started going to college, my relationship with God started to grow once I realized that that was more important than any physical relationship. People come and go, but God stays. Growing up without a father figure in your life is hard. But with God, all things are possible. I'm just so thankful for all the father figures that I had in my life, even when I didn't see it. Now that I have two half-sisters from my mom and my stepdad, my stepdad's really grown into that father figure that I always wanted. And I'm thankful for that. I mean, my sisters actually get to grow up with that father in their lives. Now, as for my real dad, all I can do is pray for him and hope that he realizes he was wrong so that he can be there for my two half-brothers because they really need that man in their lives. It's been over three years since I last spoke to my dad. And I actually recently tried to reach out to him just to apologize and try to make things right. But unfortunately, I didn't get a reply. But at least I put it out there just to let him know how I feel. For now, I'm just pushing forward with my relationship with God so that I can reach out to people and show them God through me. I just want to be a man of God that people look at and hear my story and they're just amazed at what God's done in my life. Because of my past, I feel like my relationship with God is stronger now than it's ever been. And that's something I'm extremely proud of. And one day, I'll be a father myself. And through God, I'll be that father that I always wanted. Wait! Before you exit out of the screen, we want to make sure that you have the opportunity to know about the God that you just heard about. That's right. So wherever you are today, please ask Jesus to forgive you of your sins and ask Him to become the Lord of your life. Yeah, let him turn your past into your story. And once he has, we want to hear about it. You can email us your video testimony at ucn.young at gmail.com.
You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Thanks, guys. Thanks.